So these are the three stages in which the coronavirus infects the human body. So we have also shown the human body parts, which are connected to the crime scene. Yeah, yeah. Investigation. Investigation. Large intestine. 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 Large Uh, and our exhibition is about the anatomy of heart, the circle system, and the practical function of double circulation. So, uh, let's start. Our... The heart is a fish sized uh, organ that is made up of cardiac muscles. As we know, that mammals have four chamber hearts that is, right and left atrium, right and left ventricle. The right and left side are divided by the cardiac muscle that is known as septum. <laughs> And the atriums and ventricles are divided by the bulbs. It allows the blood to flow in just one direction. The main function of our heart is to pump blood throughout the body. It also helps us in maintaining blood pressure. The heart pumps about 70 to 75 times per minute, and its weight is about 300 grams. So for for further explanation, I would. And I would like to explain about the nervous system. Our lungs pump the oxygenated blood through pulmonary veins to our left part of the heart, which is the atrium, and then it gets transferred to the left ventricle. Left ventricle. To the left ventricle, atrium is connected, namely aorta, which helps in trans, which then gets transferred to the oxygenated blood to the blood capillaries and to the whole part of body. Not just it carries the oxygenated blood, but also it carries other essential needs like nutrients and hormones, which are essential and vital for our human body. So our human body, it can transport to the atrium, into the ventricle, into the ventricle, atrium is connected, namely pulmonary artery, which uh, transport the deoxygenated blood to the heart, lung, and then to and then break out all the waste materials that carbon dioxide gets released. ियम From right atrium, it reaches to right ventricle, and when the right ventricle pumps into the pulmonary artery, and this de deoxygenated blood uh, comes to lungs and get oxygenated, and oxygenated, and it again from pulmonary when it comes to uh, right uh, uh, left atrium, this up to pulmonary when it is uh, pulmonary circulation, and from pul uh, right uh, left left atrium, then it comes to left ventricle, and when left Left ventricle pumps. It reaches to aorta, and from aorta, it further divided into capillaries and arteries. Then it separates to the whole body and gives supplies oxygenated blood. And this cycle continues in simultaneously in the same time. How how it works? What is known as cardiac arrest? Cardiac arrest. What is known as cardiac arrest? Of 
on how to visualize printer syndrome in the human object. And that is also known as which are in the script to the method eye. So the first technique is the use of silver Now, can you be a little bit louder? Okay. Aluminium powder. Yes, aluminium powder. And first of all, let's in this glass. Can you just can put your fingertips here? Yeah. <laughs> One more. Center, center. Mm -hmm. Center, center. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now with this hair brush, we can take out some of the dead but aluminium powder. Okay. And we will. We have to investigate now. We have to take it out. Just fine. So can you see your finger print here? Yes. Yeah, now? So we can now take a cello tape and uh, and we will pull out and we will yes, pay, yeah. We can pull it out and give it to the DNA reporters, okay? For the further information. And it is just a small example for the biggest crimes in all. Yeah. In that case, we can just spill out the dead one, eliminate powder and all, and we can see the screens and all. Yeah. Okay. This is a sample. This is simple one, man. Yeah. It's not, not this one. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait for her to return. Okay. So, CBI, 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 can we see the fingerprint that the girl went? Yeah. Which one is the most popular? I think that one. That one. Because this is only using glass and all. William <laughs> Sito Okay, sir. Helmet soap. Helmet soap. Yeah, and this. Face wash? Cucumber face wash. Yeah, cucumber face wash. Okay. So, how it made our uh, skin, you know? Please tell us. So, first of all, we need, for making soap, we need soap, soap base. For making soap base, we use. We use. Aloe vera. No, not aloe vera. Plastic ah. soda. Okay. No, that, that is not an NOH. Uh -huh. Sodium hydro oxide. And we use distilled water. And water? Distill water with water, mm. water. After that we add distilling, okay. distilling, and that after that we mixing all that we 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 made that soap base. After soap base, for, for beneficial of our face or skin, for that we add aloe vera, no aloe vera, vitamin E, calcium, mm. vitamin E, honey, mm. rose water. For the soap base. Yeah, for no no for the soap base. Additional. 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 Okay. Yeah. First we made soap base, after that we made the soap for the substance. Mm -hmm. after it was first in liquid form. Okay. We keep in room temperature mm. because of caustic soda. Okay. This is how it formed in water, solid, so mm. it formed 
Oh, it, it solidified and yeah, it came to this shape. Yes, this okay. Beneficial for hacking our skin. It close our pores. Mm. Remove oily skin. Okay. For the this was.
Thank you, Georgie, for the explanation. So I would like to explain the glomerular section of kidney. If we cut the kidney like this, this is the part. The outer region is called the renal capsule. The renal capsule protects the kidney from various injuries. The red color tube here you can see is renal artery. The renal artery is connected with connected with heart. It carries the unfiltered blood and transferred to medullary pyramid. Medullary pyramid consists of nephron. Nephron is the main functional unit of kidney. It, it filters the blood and extracts the urine. After that, the urine is transferred to calyx. Calyx is the calyx is the place where the urine is stored before it transferred to uterus to uterus to bladder. The outer region of kidney is called cortex. Cortex is cortex is the region lies between medullary pyramid and renal capsule. The region between any two medullary pyramid is called renal column. So I would like my friend to continue the rest. Thank you, Mecha. So I would like to continue with calyx. Calyx surrounds the uh, renal belly belly of medullary pyramid. It, co uh, it collects the urine from the medullary pyramid. Uh, many minor calyxes converge together to form a major calyx. The major calyx collects the urine from the uh, medullary pyramids and then it flows into the renal pelvis and from here, from here it flows into the ureter. So the renal pelvis, as you can see, it is at the central area of the kidney. Uh, all the urine that are collected through the calyx are stored here and then it is funneled into the ureter. Ureter, the tube which, uh, which, a, a tube which connects the kidney to the bladder. It is the narrow tube. Uh, it is a narrow tube which which carries urine from the kidney to bladder. The muscles of the ureter continuously tightens and relaxes uh, in order to force the urine down. If the urine backs up or is allowed to stand still, the kidney infection can be So the, lastly, the renal pelvis. Renal, uh, renal veins. Renal veins are the main blood vessels which carries the blood from the kidney and ureter uh, to the inferior vena cava. And this interior area of the kidney is known as the medulla. So this is our working model. Okay, let us see how it works. <laughs> okay, it's working nicely. Good. Morning, sir. My name is Sanam. My name is Sanam. My name is Sanam. My name is Sanam. We are the student of class 11 science, section 8 and So, as you can see, this is the model of human digestive system. It consists of long elementary canals, which are mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus, along with accessory organs such as salivary glands, liver, gallbladder, pancreas. So, the digestive system works continuously in our body which breaks down food into nutrients and proteins which keep us alive. So for the six and seconds. Seconds. First of all, food starts its journey from the mouth. It contains various organs such as teeth, tongue and salivary gland for, for grinding food into smaller pieces, swallowing the food and pushing the food into pharynx. Pharynx, it is a, as you can see here, it is a Y-shaped fibromuscular muscular organ which is attached to the end terminal of mouth. Its main function is to transport the crust food from mouth to stomach through oesophagus. Oesophagus which is commonly known as our food pipe which is a muscular organ which is connected to the pharynx and its main function is to transport the food and liquid from pharynx to stomach. Stomach which is a big like muscular organ, it acts as a storage for food and provide enough time for digestion. Liver is located in the right side of our stomach. Liver, liver secrets of the bile juice which help in the digesting of the fats. Gallbladder contains of this liver's livers and recycle it. Pancreas is which secret, secret the enzymes called pancreatic enzyme which help in the breakdown of the food in our small intestine. Small intestine. Small intestine is a thin tube about 10 feet long which which helps in digestion of further food that's coming from the stomach. And the main function of the small intestine is to absorb the nutrients from the food. Large intestine is a thick long tube which absorbs water and salt from the undigested food and also holds the holds and extract the waste materials sorry, that's called stool. Stool and rectum holds the stool. And as 
And this is the part where digestive ends and stool extrusion takes place. This process starts from the solarium and from the mouth. When, when we chew the food, the food will be entered from the mouth to the stomach through the oesophagus. After entering the, entering the food in the stomach, it will remain for 4 to 6 hours. After that, the food will be ghosted with the help of duodenum in small intestine. And the food which are in small intestine, the food will be absorbed and reach the, where the food will rest. No, no, no. The food which are not absorbed, they will go to the large intestine. From the large intestine, it will end up from the intestine. Any questions? Digestion takes place in stomach or large, large intestine or small intestine. Where does digestion take, take place? place? Digestion takes place in the main digestion. Where does the food break down the main digestion? In the small intestine. Small intestine. Small intestine. What is the acid they present there? Small intestine. What is the acid? Which help to break down the food? Trepsin is uh, trepsin is helping digesting of our protein and the pest is helping digesting of our pets. Does any acid, any important yeah. acid uh, content in the stomach? Stomach contains hydrochloric acid which kills the harmful bacteria and maintains the process of life. My name is Jumri Kimu, new dog, Nikki dog in Mudang Kanya. Today we have prepared a special 3D structure of the chloroplast. Thanks, sir. We all know that we all living things require food for our survival. Like for that, plants also do, they also do require food. So for them, it is a process of photosynthesis through the food which they prepare their food. So, photosynthesis, two major factors are required. That are sunlight and chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is only present in the chloroplast. That is, that is in the leaves of the plants. And sunlight we can get from the natural sources. That's all. She will let you know the structure. Good morning, sir. So, this is the structure of chloroplast. The chloroplast is a double membranous structure. This is the outer layer and this is the inner layer. And inside we have fluid-like structure, these are known as stroma. And in the stroma, we have a uh, point stag like structure, that are known as uh, membrana. And this single flat membranous sac is called hyaluronic. And in the hyaluronic, there is the presence of chlorophyll, due to which actual photosynthesis takes place. And in the chloroplast, we have also some other organelles such as ribosome, uh, this is circular DNA and RNA. Now she will let you know the special character of it. So the chloroplast is also known as semi-autonomous uh, organism. And because of the presence of uh, its own ribosome, uh, they can synthesize protein and cellular DNA can replicate more. And these are the special features of it. Because chloroplast and mitochondria are only the cells, only the cell organelles which can possess this feature of this this RNA and ribosomes and circulatory. So no any other organelles can possess this feature. Okay, uh, so you are talking about uh, chloroplast, chloroplast, right? And then you were also talking about photosynthesis, yes. right? So what gives green color in the leaves? In, the, in plants, the green pigment is actually because of chloroplast, because of the presence of chloroplast, the pigment and chloroplast. From there, uh, in this hyaluroid, the photosynthesis, the process of photosynthesis actually takes place. Hydraulic power. power. Yeah. So it is based on the principle of. Uh, no. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Uh, my name is Devia Jermin. And we are from Class 11 Science. So our model name is Hydraulic Power Toy. So uh, it is based on the principle of Pascal Law. Pascal Law states that a fluid enclosed in a container will, when pressure is applied, then it will transfer uh, equally to the all parts in the direction of the container, the wall of the container surface area. So, uh, 
here you can see it can dissolve only uh, four syringes. So the two syringes are arranged parallelly, and the two other is perpendicularly in the axis and y axis. So uh, the y axis syringe is used for the movement of uh, forward and backward direction, and for the uh, y axis syringe is used for the movement of upward and downward direction. So it works like this. And this push pressure by little by little step, it goes forward and it can come backward also. So like it, its use is for the enjoyment of children and for the uh, encouragement of new ideas. Because you know, uh, hydraulic systems are very easy to make and easy to understand. They can uh, encourage for the pop up of new ideas. Like there are many examples of hydraulic systems like uh, hydraulic bridge, hydraulic grant, example hydraulic robot. So we made this hydraulic toy. Uh, which is really easy to be and really affordable. Uh, uh, the things we brought from market is only this series, this line tube, and this blue and Google. Other than these things, uh, these things we, uh, the structure you can see is all this is, uh, We have taken it from our home. Uh, this is a this small function going to be used in, so it is kind of recycled. This announcement is for class 3, class 4, 6, 7, and class 9. My name is Pichi Onu. The topic that we have chosen is the effect of coronavirus in human body. So we are quite aware about coronavirus, but we don't know how it impacts the human body. So that's the reason we have divided into three stages. So in the first stage, what happens is that the virus it will enter from our nose and it will pass to the trachea. And what happens during the period? So during the period, what happens is that the patient he or she will have headache cough. But the difference between the common cold during winter and the cold because of the virus is just that it's just that when you have the cold because of the virus, you are not able to breathe properly. The color of your body changes. It will become a bit yellowish and the taste in your tongue it will change. And in the second stage what happens is that the virus it will enter to the lungs. And when it enters to the lungs, the patient will have pneumonia. Pneumonia is a sickness where the patient will have difficulties in breathing. And in the third stage, the virus will enter to the alveoli. And alveoli is the part where a change of gases takes place. So if the virus has start spreading its compartment in the alveoli, a change of gases cannot take place, which means that we take oxygen, we give up the water oxide. So when the oxygen is not able to pass through different parts of the body, the coronavirus starts spreading. So these are the three stages through which the coronavirus infects the human body. So we have also shown the human body parts connected with the, so we have tried to combine the process of coronavirus with the human body parts. And this is the time when the alveoli without the coronavirus, but when the coronavirus infects it, it's not spreading. And also the alveoli, it has certain direction where it will pass. But if the virus start making its compartment, it will burst out. And in the process, it will start spreading to different parts. And in the process, it will have uh, lungs or you can say organ failure. So in this situation, most of the time, the patients are admitted in the hospital. But out of the many, very few survive. Because the alveoli is not able to transfer the oxygen because surrounding the patient, they are not able to survive. So in this way, the coronavirus spread from one place.